Hi, I'm Gordon Wade at Weight Research. I'm working on a 9-inch f2.7 mirror, and I just poured this pitch polisher. But this isn't actually made out of pitch. This is artificial pitch uh, called Acculap. And this particular ac Acculap, the hardness is intermediate hardness. Uh, that's a little harder than normal. I'm polishing a sphere, and so I want it to be hard to maintain the spherical shape. So uh, this was made on an aluminum base, an aluminum substrate with a hole for my machine. And uh, basically I put a dam around it, pour some uh, Acculap in there, and then on the mirror I pour uh, Acculap into the mirror and then mate the two. The tops will be flat on both. So when you mate them, I end up with this surface that's perfectly matched to the mirror itself. Now, uh, when you squish it on top, some comes out. You can see this overhang here. Uh, but basically, you just break that off. And uh, if you can break it off and put it right back in the pot, use it again. And what doesn't break off easily, I just use a razor blade and we'll trim it up quick. Nice to get the majority of it off this way, though. Okay, then uh, most of the work on tr on uh, actually fastening a polisher is done with a single edge razor blade. And uh, the first step is just to go around and get rid of the overhang. So you just kind of use a, a shearing action as you turn the polisher around. And you like to go straight up and down pretty much, uh, as long as the Acculap is there. So this takes off all those overhanging pieces. Gives us a nice round base to work from. Uh, this is going to be for machine uh, polishing. So uh, it's going to see quite a bit of service. And we're doing several mirrors. I think I've got four of them generated right now. So we'll be polishing up four mirrors starting later today or tomorrow with this polisher. Okay. So once that's done, now we're gonna put channels into the mirror. And again, I just do that with a, a razor blade. It's the fastest way that I've found to do it. Uh, there's a million ways to channel lapse polishers. Some people do uh, hot tools to carve out grooves or they'll wait until it's loose and uh, press into it. But Plain old razor blade is the fastest thing. Now what I usually do is I start by making a pass down the mirror with the razor blade angled to the right and then angled to the left to make a channel. And you're just breaking through the skin. This aculap is just a little bit slippery so you have to get it at just the right angle to break it. And I turn it 90 degrees and make another set. And I want it not to be symmetrical. So I'll start this in a slightly different way here. Now we're not making any effort to make the, the squares all the same. That's really not all that important in mirror making. But all I'm doing here is to lay down the basic Grew, uh, the, the layout of the tool. So now I've got a nice grid pattern on there. I'm going to open up a new razor blade. And now we'll finish the carving here. Okay, now I'm going to start here on the right hand side because I'm right handed. Angle this in a little bit and go a little deeper this time into the pitch. You can see it kind of crystallizes and comes off. So I just make kind of one pass down each of the lines that I made. And the line on the opposite side stops it from breaking out. So I've been down those three. Now I turn it one 90 degree turn, do it again. The nice thing about Acculap is it's not nearly as sticky as traditional pitch. Uh, we do use a lot of Google's pitch, uh, but the Acculap is quickly becoming our go-to material for doing polishing. 
another turn. Now I'm going down the other side of the first set of grooves that I put in. You can see the material starting to come out of the channel. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on here, but enough to to cut down into the pitch, excuse me, into the eculap. Decades of habits calling it pitch. It's not pitch. Uh, the eculap is a wonderful substitute for, for pitch. Uh, when you melt it, it doesn't smell bad. Pitch is notoriously stinky when you melt it. Uh, it's not as stringy when you're pouring it. It doesn't make it strings that get uh, attached to it. That's nice. So basically, we just keep going around here, continuing to deepen these channels. Make one quick last pass here. Last pass is pretty easy. You just kind of go down the middle and clean them. Okay, now we'll brush those out really quick and see if we can uh, get close up and see the channels. You can see that this pitch is about uh, three-eighths of an inch thick. Aculap, not pitch, three-eighths of an inch thick. Now I've got the channels laid in there. They're deep enough and they're what I want. Next step is I take the razor blade, take a new corner, and I just scratch the polisher. And I just put in kind of a crosshatch pattern Two or three strokes on each facet and this is called sub faceting and it's really quick and easy I'm just just scratching the surface I'm not really going deep go 90 degrees and make the cross set okay and that's all done final step is I take a brass brush brass brass and not steel because the brass is softer than the borosilicate glass and won't scratch it. So uh, if any of the little pieces come out into the polisher, you don't want those to get in the polishing process. So I take the little brush and go to town on this polisher. And the point is to rough up the surface. It naturally has a smooth, shiny surface that isn't right for polishing. You want to rough it up. And this has the effect of putting thousands and thousands of little micro facets on the surface. And again, since this was molded directly onto the mirror's surface in the first place, uh, it's perfect contact. I, I will cold press this for maybe four or five minutes with a 10 or 15 or 20 pounds of weight. Uh, since it's a firm intermediate grade of Aculap, it won't deform very much. And then this will be ready for polishing action in just a few minutes. Scratch that up good, then uh, go down the grooves to clean them out. And of course, the last step on this would be to hold this under running water and make sure that all of the uh, uh, materials has been removed from in the grooves. So there it is. It only takes a few minutes, and uh, that's a channeled polisher ready to work.